Hello. I wanted to show you how to get a little bit more in depth on the Ken Burns effect. If you'd like a longer video on how to create a slideshow using iMovie, I'll put a link in the description to a video I made uh, last year. So let's get some pictures into our timeline. Again, I just selected them, dragged them in. So iMovie automatically applied the Ken Burns effect. Now the Ken Burns effect is based on Ken Burns, the documentary filmmaker, and it is zooming in or zooming out or moving across uh, still photos. So this is what the Ken Burns effect looks like. So if I wanted to adjust this, for example, this one here, this picture, I would prefer to start maybe up close on me and my wife, but then scroll upwards to take a look at that waterfall. Uh, this is in Lauterbrunnen, Switzerland. So I'm gonna click that and then go up top to the crop button here, and then find the Ken Burns effect. So here we have a start frame and an end frame, and it's showing that the start frame starts here, and then it zooms out to show the rest of this here, and there's a little bit of movement too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna drag the corners here and pick what my beginning's going to be, okay? And then my ending, I want that to be the top of the waterfall. So I'm bringing it up here to show the waterfall. Now if I, there. If I do this, it's gonna be a fairly fast movement because it has a lot of space to cover from the front to the end. If I do it like this, it's going to be a slower movement because it doesn't have as much space to cover from here to here. Let's take a look at what that looks like right now. So I'm gonna click my check mark there and it looks like this. Now, if I wanted to slow it down, I could do a couple of things. I could make it longer. If I make it longer, Obviously, that's going to take longer to get to the second uh, frame. If I wanted to keep it about the same length but make it shorter, I could just make these two more similar. So this right here is going to be a super slow movement because they're so close together. That it has very little to have to go from here to here. So here's this movement. Super slow movement. So this one, let's say here on this last selfie here, let's say I wanted to zoom into our faces, but I wanted to do it really slowly. So I'll show you one more time. So right now it's starting on us and then zooming out. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna flip that. I'd rather end um, zoomed in. So this button right here is going to switch the start and the end. You could of course just move them around, but Pressing this button swaps them, so it goes in the opposite direction. So here, we're starting wide, and we're ending close in on us, but I don't like how it's cutting off the top of my head on that second frame, so I'm getting that one out of the way for a moment. So I'm doing my final. Well, I don't want to cut off my wife's chin either. So there. But I said I want it to be a really slow zoom on us. So what I'm going to do instead is make it so it's really slight, right? There's only a small difference between the two. And then we get this. Oops, this picture. Really slow zoom in. So that's how you can manipulate uh, how long or what direction things are going. If, for example, on this cheese one, on the fondue, if I wanted to, instead of zooming in or zooming out, if I wanted to move sideways, I could put the end right here right in the center of that cheese, right? And then up here, I don't know, I could go from my wife's, my wife's watch in the handle. So not only now is it zooming in, or actually it's, it's zooming in very lightly, it's moving and that arrow shows that it starts here, ends here. Let's see what that looks like. So it's more of a movement than a zoom. All right, are there other filters or are there other uh, movements? Yes, there are. 
you don't want the movement to be the subject of the video. You want the people in there. So be very careful on how much movement you're using. Uh, you you want to use the Ken Burns effect just to to highlight something important. Or again, this one, just such a slight zoom. I think looks really nice, especially if it's something like uh, for a memorial. Um, so that is a deeper dive into the Ken Burns effect. All right. If you have any questions, feel free, put them down below. Uh, email me, scottpanfil at gmail.com. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.